Hello, hello everyone. My name is Nate, aka Killer Snake. I'm gonna be your auto roadmap dealership salesman today. And today we have a great video to show off for you guys today. Today we have the 2021 Tesla Model Y. Today we're showing off, I'm talking about it and everything that you need to know about our amazing Tesla here we have today. Again, you guys want to, uh, I want to cry from us here at Roadmap? Just come on down. Ask for, ask for Keyless, man. All right, so today we're looking at our vehicle here. So obviously, if you guys, unless you guys are living under a rock, you guys know this is an electric vehicle. Now this is a, um, it's an SUV. Um, the base model, again, starting price, I believe in the 30,000s range. This is the perform, now the trim level you see in front of you, honestly, is the, is the performance. Um, you will notice by the door handles being black and everything, all these other black parts, you'll know. But this is the performance trim level, right? All right. Again, if you guys want the exact, if you guys want to know the exact stats, I'm talking range, thing like, things like that. We're going to be going over all of that at the end of the video. At the end of the video, we're going to be going over range, horsepower. For now, we're going to go over looks. We're also going to do some tests, such as brake testing, 0 to 60 testing, as well as a turning radius test, and also a little POV drive to see how it handles in day-to-day -day, uh, driving activity. So, Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the appearance. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest fan. Out of all the Teslas that, um, that are in the game, my least favorite in terms of looks is the Tesla Model Y. I think I think the Tesla Model X, S, and 3 look a lot better than this one does. So, again, with the, with the performance trim levels, so you got a mini spoiler in the back. Again, I got this video, I could believe I believe this Tesla Model Y sits up to five people. So again, you have plenty of space for you and your friends. And this is also decently fast. Again, you get these nice big tires. So it's nice if you don't get these super small tires. Again, you're gonna see where the turn signal is housed and everything like that. So without again, if you guys saw the little cinematic I did in the beginning, you guys will know this is a definitely, you know. You guys don't know the train signals and everything, but we're gonna go over that in a little bit. So again, five people. Again, it doesn't look bad. Honestly, I think the front, I think the front looks a lot better than the back of the Tesla Model Y. That's my opinion. Again, decent, not bad. Again, we got this in this nice red color. Without further ado, let's get into uh, again. This is a fully electric vehicle. Um, here are the daytime warning lights. Um, this vehicle does come with our roadmap safety package, which does include automatic braking blind stop monitoring, and of course, automatic lighting. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys the startup sound. Not bad. I gotta say, for an elect I gotta say, out of all the electric cars, this has to be one of the best startup sounds for, for electric vehicle in the game, hands down, 100%. Um, so we're gonna take it, we're gonna do some tests. So I will see you guys on the road. I'm gonna do the zero to six test. See you guys over there. All right, everybody, we are here at the road. We're gonna go ahead and do the zero to 60 test. We're gonna do the timer as usual. Again, we're gonna do, we wanna get the fastest possible zero to 60 time as we can. Now, unfortunately, this vehicle does not have a sports gear, which sadly kind of sucks a little bit because that sports gear, if you guys an automatic, really allows you to get that really good performance and launch, but this thing does not have it. And this is the performance version, not the long range. So again, the base model, again, a little bit different. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. And then one of the things I love about, I like it, see, so, all right, so when you guys are revving up an electric car, right? So listen, listen to the sound this car makes. That is so freaking cool. All right, three, two, one, go. So I was a little bit off. But I'm gonna round it down a little bit. I'm gonna say three. I'm gonna say I was like I was like I was say I was a couple couple milliseconds late. So I'm gonna say 3.5 seconds, which is not bad at all. So we're gonna do a nice good old-fashioned brake test. All right. So we're gonna do two brake tests. All right. So we're gonna do two brake tests. Oopsies, my bad. We're gonna do. Oh, 
I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do two break tests. All right. All right. So one from sixty, one from a hundred. Three, two, one, break. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. That is really, really impressive. Let's go ahead and uh, do 100 miles an hour now. As you guys can see, really good turning radius. We're gonna do another turn. We're gonna do like a better turning radius test. Ready? 100. Three, hundred, a hundred. It's not getting too up there. Three, two, one, break. Not bad at all for a hundred miles an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna do a turning radius test. Right, let's let's do it over here. One fifty four top speed. All right, let's slow down. Top speed is one fifty four. Here we go. Okay, um, it does understand a little bit. Um, not okay. So it can be tight, tight corners. Eh. Also, I love the sound this car makes when you're backing up. It sounds so cool. So now we got the train radius test done. Again, try to signal those real quick. And the lights. Oops, wrong thing. Here are the lights. So without further ado, we're gonna head back to the dealership and I'm gonna go over the uh, the uh, detail detail stuff like range, horsepower, pricing, for both base and performance. Let's go, let's all see you guys at the dealership. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little, the little test here. And again, um, we will be doing a POV drive as a separate thing. I'll post a separate video of me doing a POV drive. All right, for this specific vehicle. Again, again, I hope if you guys want to see that more, let me know. But let's talk about some of the stats. So again, here at Roadmap, we pride ourselves on our, our information here. 230, 230 horsepower, which again is the average horsepower for an electric vehicle in the game of Greenville, Wisconsin. That's the average horsepower number. Some, a very small group of electric vehicles, for example, Western Motor Sense, um, have more horsepower than that. But the average horsepower number is 230, um, somewhat, like somewhat lower, like, to, like for example, the vehicle I'm playing, for example, the vehicle review, I'm gonna be, I will be reviewing for you guys pretty soon. The uh, Lucid Air, Dream Lucid Air, again, has 210 horsepower. It's a little bit less than average, but the average electric horsepower for electric vehicles is 230. Now, with the range, now when it comes to now when it comes to buying the Tesla Model Y Performance and Base, you need to think of it like this: What do you want? Do you want range or performance? Because the range does change quite a bit and i mean quite a bit between the base and the performance so the base model you get 326 miles of range on a single charge right if you go if you opt for the performance version you get 303 miles of range on a single charge so a little bit less than a ford mustang mach e okay so please keep that in mind if you're buying a model y for range you want to buy the base model because that gives you more range, there's less performance. Performance version gives you more performance, but you take a pretty big hit on range. You go down, you go from 326, you go down to 303. So you're losing quite a bit of range there. Um, so why should you buy a test? Should you buy a test on a Y? Should you come here to roll my ship and buy one? Well, first of all, one of the things I will say about this vehicle is the, the handling is really nice. And not just because it's just fast, it corners really sharp, 
is when it comes to driving this thing on a day-to-day -day basis and using it on a day-to-day -day basis, the Tesla Model Y in this game is actually pretty nice. It drives very smoothly and it's very easy to drive. Handling is not, like, when, when, when handling is not overly sensitive. It's like the perfect balance, right? So it's really good. It's like, if you want a great electric SUV to daily drive, this is definitely the cream of the crop here, the Tesla Model Y. 100% cream of the crop, right? Definitely, definitely consider it hard, hardcore. Um, in terms of acceleration, again, even with even without the sports gear, again, around like 3.5 or 3.3.5 .3 seconds, that's not bad. For without a sports gear, that's not bad at all. Um, top speed is 154. The stats say 157 for the performance. That is incorrect. That is wrong. It's 154. Um, brakes are really good. So for me, what it comes down to is the looks. Do you prefer the looks of a Tesla Model 3 or a different electric vehicle? Please let me know. Um, also, last thing I want to talk about is the pricing. The base, the starting price for the Tesla Model Y in the AMG Green Wheels Constant is $39,000. So the base model is $39,000. This is quite cheap. Now the base, the performance trim level is $56,000. $56,000, which again, is really sweet. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little review video. Again, I would give the Tesla Model Y a definite overall 10 out of 10. Amazing SUV, miss that SUV, great performance in terms of daily driving and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, drop a like, comment, and share. And again, um, I will have a POV drive video coming out for you really soon. I'm done with bullshit at this point.